Over the past few weeks, there's been many presentations on different types of foods to make, from pastas to pies to your favorite type of smoothie blast. And all of these different types of foods got me thinking, gee, I need a way to burn off all these extra calories. So as I was sitting there thinking about this, the answer practically hit me in the face. Boxing. Now, boxing is a martial art in which two people engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with gloved fists. Um, the preparation portion of boxing is a great way to burn off all of those extra calories. Now, a article on MSN Health stated that uh, in March of 2012 stated that the exercise is very easy to modify to, mit to meet your personal needs and that allows for any people of any age or fitness level to participate. So now that I've given you a little background on boxing, I'm going to go into first the materials you're going to be needing in order to do a workout, a few basic punching techniques, and then putting those punching techniques together into a basic workout. Now, first and foremost, you're going to need your gloves. Now, there's three different types of gloves. There's gloves that you can simply slip on and you're ready to go. There's these that I choose to use that are straps. So you just kind of take your gloves, you just kind of strap, pull them on, and strap them in. And then I like these because they give you a little more wrist protection than the slip-ons. And your last type of gloves are going to be your lace gloves, which are a little more take a little more hassle, but they give you the red, the best wrist protection. Next, you're going to be needing your mitts. Any type of mitts will do, as long as you have them. Um, third, you will need a partner. So Ricky, if you'd be so kind, let's come up. And lastly, it's important to have kind of loose fit clothing so you're comfortable moving around in. You don't have to get, go out and buy anything fancy, just as long as you're comfortable. So I'm going to get into, now that you know the materials you need, I'm going to get into your techniques. Before you even think about throwing a punch, you need to know your stance. Now, there's two different types of stances in boxing. One called orthodox and the other one called southpaw. The orthodox is for right-handed people. So what you do is you stand kind of like this. You want your left foot planted forward and you want to be kind of on your toes on your back foot. You want to have about a foot and a half to two feet of distance apart from your feet. And you want your hands up like this. You want them in tight, protecting your ribs. You want to have your fist protecting your chin on each side, and you want your chin to be tucked in a little bit. Make sure you can see everything that's going on in front of you as well. So, the southpaw stance, which is my stance since I'm left-handed, is the same thing, except, you know, in reverse. So it's the exact same thing. So, now that you know how to do a proper stance, I'm going to be showing you the most basic punch in all boxing, which is the jab. Now, with the jab, what you want to do, you take your stance, and you fire off a punch, straight punch, just from your guard. Now, if you've never done boxing before, you may think that your power is coming from your arms, but actually all the power that you generate is from the twisting of your hips and the extension of your arm. So, like that, as opposed to doing something like this, you're not going to get much power out of it. Now, you want to make sure when you throw this punch too, that you get a nice long extension on it. You don't want to overdo it, because if you're not used to it, you might damage your, you might hyperextend your elbow and do a little damage. So just when you're practicing and starting out, just take it easy. Kind of go half, 50%-ish until you get used to the motion. Also, you don't want to do something like this where you just kind of go halfway. Just make sure you get that nice long extension. Now, the next punch I'm going to be showing you is very similar. It's called the straight or the cross. Now, it's essentially the same thing as a jab, except what you're doing is you're using your backhand or your power hand and you're coming in, other left, you're coming in and throwing a straight punch. Now the difference here is notice my back foot, when I throw the punch, I just pivot. So that gives it that little bit of extra power as you can hear from hitting the mitts. The third punch I'm going to be going over is the hook. Now as it sounds, you're going to be throwing a punch in a hooking motion. So as we'll demonstrate here, the lead hook, you're going to come in and you're going to simply rotating the hips is what's generating all of your power. You don't want to just kind of, you know, 
lazy and throw a punch out like that. You want to really sit down on both your feet for this one, and then really sink the punch into that. So now that you know three of the basic punches of boxing, I'm going to get into a simple workout routine using these three punches. Now, as with any workout routine, you're going to need to warm up first. I'd recommend doing some stretching. Get some stretches on the shoulders on each side. Once you got that done, you're going to want to warm up. Just throw some punches at, you know, or <laughs> that's fine, it's fine. What do you want? Just, just jabs. Just jabs, just jabs. Just jabs. You want to throw them at 50% just to get used to the motion of it. And then you're going to want to switch to the other side, do the same thing. You know, just get used to the rhythm of it. So once you got that down, you're going to want to start with your jab cross combo, which I like to call it one, two for short. So slow motion, we're going to do three. One, two, one, two, one, two. So both you and your partner are ready for the motion. And one in, one in fast speed, one, two. All right, so that's what it's going to, going to look like. Now, your next combination is going to be the jab cross hook. Same idea, except you're going to add a hook in at the end of that. So what you're going to do, same stance, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, and one regular speed, okay. So now that you know a couple of basic combinations, it took about that short amount of time for me to show you, and you can get a simple, great workout out of doing this. Um, now you know the materials, you know, basic punching technique and you know how to mix it all together into the workout. So the next time you have a little bit of extra energy from that strawberry banana blast, you can channel that energy into a blast of your own in the form of boxing. Thank you.